From bounding into comics, transgender developer releases anti-gender fascist game Turfenstein 3D to draw a comparison between gender critics and Nazi Germany. The first thing I want to say is it's actually quite disturbing, but kind of morbidly funny. I have a sense of humor. I can look at this and find it to be kind of absurdist humor. But I got to point out, if you are someone who is suffering from a, dis a disorder, a mental disorder in the DSM-5 that could result in you committing self-harm, and then you make a video game where you violently murder people who are your political opponents, I'm very concerned about your mental state. But uh, hey, if you're getting it all out in a video game, it's better than you doing whatever in real life. But I would probably recommend that the person who made this game be placed on some kind of watch, just in case. Just in case. Here's the story. Take a look first. I, I, I imagine most of you know the game Wolfenstein 3D, that OG DOS first-person shooter. I used to play that when I was a little kid. I still remember the final boss. He would open the door and go, Guten Tag. And then he's got like... Pfft, you know, and you got you to gotta take him out because he's a Nazi or whatever. And so here, the swastikas are replaced by XX. Like, what? what is that? Like, chromosomes? Anyway, a transgender programmer has launched Turfenstein 3D, a game in which players kill women critical of transgender ideology, otherwise known as TERFs. Okay. Using the acronym TERF, which stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, and is used to denounce women who don't support trans individuals, even if they support feminist ideals, transgender developer Sandra Moen created Turfenstein 3D, a title that, in essence, is a parody of Wolfenstein 3D. Touted as a first-person shooter about infiltrating gender fascists' facility and disabling their weapons of mass destruction, the game's target audience is assumed to be aware of the transphobic pressure that exists to transgendered people by the media and TERFs. And, oh, look, it's a priest! Yes, they're massacring priests and dogs. That's the craziest thing. Priests, dogs, and women are gunned down with a minigun via Turfenstein 3D. Why the dogs, man? I, I, I mean, I, I get it, but like if people have dogs and are like Nazis had dogs too, but you can't kill them, the dogs. The dogs aren't turfs. Dogs just mind their own business. Anyway. While development has been documented on Moen's Twitter profile, the game's first trailer was revealed in 2022 and launched on Steam in January of this year. How is Steam allowing this? Like, you go around killing priests. Moen describes Turfenstein 3D as, as offering LGBTQAI transgender and feminist themes of gender critical people and what a post war apocalyptic world would look like if gender fascists won. Pretty sure this is not what it would look like. In the dystopian world, fascists have killed and imprisoned all transgender and queer people, subjecting them to harsh conversion therapy, imprisonment, and death. You play as an escapee fleeing the detention center while you exact your revenge. Moen states the game brings to light the very real transphobic violence many transgender people face for just existing. I wonder how much of this game was just ripped off of Wolfenstein, like it's just like a skin. Openly admitting the game is designed to draw a comparison between gender critics and Nazi Germany, all enemies appear to be female or priests <laughs> female. <laughs> you play a man, a male who goes around murdering women. This is more like, they should call it incel Stein. Incel Stein 3D. Man, I know incels are going to get mad because I said that because it's, it's you, you can't compare the two. A person who is celibate is not the same as someone who wants to go around murdering women. You get the point. Banners and other decorations in the environment are adorned with a Nazi-style XX symbol, white blood splatters against, while well, blood splatters against the walls. Developed over four months, this solo project is one of many controversial games the developer has made. Being able to artistically express yourself is a proven way to heal trauma and possibly also move on. Hey, I got an idea. What if we made a game called Transenstein, and it was about a bunch of female athletes who live in a post-apocalyptic world where biological men dress up like women and oppress them and take over their spaces. Uh-oh, you'd get banned in two seconds. This game also hopes to achieve that for players who need, who need it through gameplay, that would stir up hidden and muddied emotions. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Even the game's launch trailer prides itself on being the most hated game of 2022, showcasing alleged tweets from Twitter users mocking or condemning Moen's work. Most hated game of 2022, Turfenstein 3D's launch trailer showcases alleged tweets the developers received. 
While the XX of the enemies could represent the XX chromosomes that indicate a woman on the genetic level, it's strikingly similar to the logo of Women's De- Declaration International. The group reaffirms women and girls' sex-based rights and challenges the discrimination we experience from the replacement of the category of sex with that of gender identity. Christina Ellingson, WDI's lead rep in Norway, took the illusion in shockingly calm stride when speaking to Redux. Believing Moen was clearly appropriating the WDI logo, she wondered how Moen would portray a top-level feminazi boss. I mean, it's just, it's, it's crudely made, to be completely honest. Like, like, you could do better with the art. Come on. You, you know, you, know, you want to, whatever. The representation of women's sex chromosomes as resembling Nazi ideology shows how far gone these men often are. Ellingson mocked. Accusations that women who care about women's rights are feminazis is nothing new, though. Male threats of violence against women and girls in the digital space is obvious and ubiquitous. But to men who claim to be women, digital media is used for a kind of gamification of misogyny that is unprecedented. Ellingson pr- proposed. She also cited banned browser extension Shinigami Eyes, which marks social media profiles that fall in the TERFs and transphobic categories. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let me give y'all a lesson if you're not an anime fan and you don't speak Japanese. Shinigami means like death god, big grim reaper or whatever. Death god. And Shinigami Eyes is a reference to the manga and anime Death Note in which a person who can a person can receive a notebook called a death note that if you write someone's name in it they will die. You can write you have to you have to write their name down and picture them in your head. However, what if you don't know their name? You can cut a deal with the death gods to shorten your lifespan in half to receive the eyes of a death god which allow you to see the names of the individuals. You see a name floating above their head and how much time they have left. Cuz the way it works in Death Note is if you're a death god, you extend your own life by taking the remaining uh, time of the individual. So if there's a person walking around and they have 80 years left, you write their name down, they die, you get their years. If you get the Shinigami eyes as a human, your lifespan is cut in half, you don't gain any years, but you can now see their name so you can choose to kill people. What they're basically implying with the Shinigami eyes is they are trying, they're threatening you with death, basically. They are saying they want to kill you. Let me just make that one clear. Redux notes, however, that Ellingson was under investigation by the police for stating that male to female transgender women cannot be lesbians or mothers. Were Ellingson to be found guilty, the Norwegian feminists face up to three years in prison. You know, men's rights activists. I, 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 I refer to um, biological males who want the right to be in women's spaces as men's rights activists. And then actual men's rights activists get angry because they're like, don't lump us in with those people. I'm like, well, what I'm trying to say is male rights activists is probably a better way to put it. Biological males who want the right to present and assert themselves in spaces traditionally for females. I don't see why they're upset that I call them male rights activists. They're male. They're not female. They just want to present that way. OK, I don't care. You can present however you want. I just don't have to interact with you. I'm not going to engage you. I think the point here is it's just another example of these are trans people threatening women with death. I mean, just simply put, they're showing the actual logo from an actual organization and then making a game where you go around massacring them. Look, it's a video game. I'm not going to cry about it. I might even play it to see what it's all about. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it, though. But maybe maybe we'll do a playthrough. This would be really funny. Let's set up. I'll set up a Twitch account. And then we will play the game and see if Twitch gets mad about it. I don't like Twitch. Twitch is woke as they come. They say touting itself as a truly pro-women, pro-child safeguarding platform in their about page, Redux also shows Moen's controversial history. They cite court records they obtained reportedly involving Moen with their name, uh, though, though their name is redacted. The records detail an incident where presumably Moen experienced being harassed in the changing room by an unknown woman in July 2016 when she was spoken to after showering. The alleged incident took place at the SIS Sports Center at the univer- university Mo was attending. A, believed that her body was uncomfortable and that people like her should not, should not be allowed to be in the women's wardrobe. Despite having male genitalia, Moen allegedly justified she was a legal, legally a woman due to documentation several months prior. As such, the woman was allegedly investigated for harassment, but was reportedly rejected on appeal. It's kind of just crazy that this is the... Uh, whatever, man. Let it all come crashing down, I suppose. A rocket launcher 
Gibbs multiple foes. What is it? What is that? What? Gibbs multiple foes? Yeah, via Turfenstein 3D. So it's a lot of priests. They're all women. I love how the priests are women, too, because I'm pretty sure women can't be priests. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some denomination where they can. Whatever. What do I know? But uh, I, I, I think, OK, you know, you get the point. What is this? A space explorer is assaulted by ghosts of Earth asking medical questions a transgender person may encounter. I think this person is dangerous and unwell. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.